Welcome back to What RT Noobs. This is an FD215B 183, the famed Death Star. It's a tier 10 British premium tank destroyer. It's um, no longer on sale, unfortunately, and if you've got one, you're a very lucky person. This one's on the north spawn of Pilsen under the command of Leomian EU. Now he does have one, and he's got one mark of excellence on the barrel, as you can see straight away. Battle started. Now the Death Star is actually built on the hull of the Conqueror and it was supposed to be a self-propelled gun with a turret mounted at the rear and well it was designed with the purpose of taking down some of the Soviet IS tanks if they made their way across the border into Europe or rather into our part of Europe. Because the end of the war there was a lot of people scared that the Soviet menace was actually going to come forward and try and wreak havoc on the Western powers as they were recovering from the war. And the Soviet military machine is too powerful and we needed something to prevent them actually uh, using their abilities to uh, take over more of West Europe or more of Europe. They'd already uh, taken them away quite a lot in the Iron, uh, when they uh, conquered um, Germany. Well, Death Star has got one of the biggest guns in the game, the 183mm capable of firing Hesch. And that's precisely what uh, Colombian EU managed to fire just there. The Hesch round, which is capable of 1750 Alpha penetrating 213mm of armour and Hesh means high explosive squash head and that means that the shell when fired at the enemy it hits the turret of the enemy or the flat surfaces and forms a kind of cow pat of explosive against the side and it then detonates causing shards of metal to go flying off the uh, insides of the enemy tank cutting the crew to pieces and there's an enemy tank behind us, yes, a T-100LT. Managed to make his way up that slope and he's only being stopped from going any further by the fact that there was a gorilla up there as well as a couple of arty. Well, the Object 261 managed to finish him off. Okay, we're going after a Panzer Kampfwagen 7. He's just over there. And that was one into the cupola of the 7. But now we've got an E100. Is he going to take a shot at us? No, he doesn't. Lomian's being very careful not to let the enemy get any clean shots on him at the moment. That Panzer 7 doesn't want to come out from behind there because he knows he's going to suffer if he does. And that's another 680 hit points he's lost. He's now one shot. The only drawback with this gun is the loading time, 23.73 seconds, yeah, it's a long, long time. Can he get a shot on him? No, he's going to have to move up to get the final coup de grace. Here we go. Line him up. No shot. He's hiding. Okay, he's having a quick look because there's an E100 behind him. And the T-123 I think is going to deal with him. Here we go. Well, we're going to help as well. At close range. Oh, the E3 getting in the way. And lower plate. Yes, 1,752. That's a penetrating round. Definitely went in. But now we're fighting what's in behind us when the object 2684 is moving up behind us on the other side. And yes, Lomian's seen that. He's got good all-round awareness. He realizes that 2684 is a bit of a threat, but he's gone into cover. Now, whilst he's looking there, they've killed the E100, but they're now chasing a Progetto who's fairly low on hit points. One shot would probably be enough to finish him off. We're side scraping out from the corner. Will we see a Progetto? Just one Progetto. Give it to me. No, it's a terrible joke, isn't it? Yeah, it's been done to death. The Panzer 7 is dead, so we don't need to worry about him. But there's an Object 261 there in the distance. 
And, oh, there's lots of enemy arty making their run around, but I think we need this shell for the Object 2684. Yeah, that's the way we like it. Do you like it like that? Yeah, I like it like that. That's a Klausism for you. <laughs> oh, the Progetto. Mr. Progetto, have one Cornetto and bye bye. <laughs> nice one. Two enemies left. An object 261 and a 121B. So, let's go hunting. I think we're going to get the 261 because he was last seen over on this side of the map. The 121B is over on the other side of the map. And, well, they we've got another Death Star on our team and he's over there. But 5k of damage for Lomian EU. He's been a very busy boy. That's a huge amount of damage. And look at how many hit points he's got left. Yep, that's right. He's got a full amount of hit points. He didn't let a single scratch on his tank. Isn't that amazing? Well, the Udis is going to get first shot on the 261. And then we'll follow up afterwards. 261's hiding. Oh, hello, Mr. 261. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's that's the sort of like bullying the Udes out the way, but he wasn't firing. So, uh, yeah, nice shot. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats for this one. It's an ace tanker for Lomian EU in the FB215B 183 Death Star. Yep, he managed to get a fire for effect and a bruiser medal out of the minor medals. He got 16 critical hits in that one. And he picked up the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that battle. And a win eight of 6,825. Well done. You certainly know how to handle this beast. Let's have a look at the team score. 5,238 hit points of damage. The next high scorer was that Yunez, who's just a bit too slow on the draw. 3,580 for him. And then after that, it was the Progetto 65 on our team with 3322. When it came to kills, it was also... Um, yep, he's, he's using the anonymizer. He's down as Sergei Pro. Um, Lomian EU managed to get three kills. It was the only player who managed to get more than two. And his base XP as well was 1,109, which is an easy ace in this vehicle. And a lot of people bought this off the black market, but they just don't know how to play it properly. But Lomian does. And yep, he made that look very, very easy indeed. And not many Death Stars will end the battle with all of their hit points intact, having got the high caliber in, in the process. So well done. What a game. Eight shots fired, eight direct hits, three penetrations and five splash. Damage of 5,238 hit points, all of it at close range. Three enemy vehicles spotted, five enemy vehicles damaged, three killed, and 113 hit points of damage assistance. He earned 58,019 credits in the battle, 18,566 from Holy Ops, total 76,585 credits altogether. And after ammunition respawn, this is expensive ammo, very expensive ammo, but he made it worth it. He made it work. Look at that, 12,585 credits profit. If he'd been firing on a free-to-play account, he would have made a loss. But on a premium account, he made a profit on that one. He got two bonds for the high caliber at tier 10, 13 for the battle, took away 15 in total. 1,663 XP times two. And he also got the 83 for this being a premium vehicle, although <laughs> it's not very much. Uh, but he took away 3,410 experience points altogether. So, uh, as he says, it was the perfect ace. You don't often see a Death Star get an ace tanker, a high calibre, and walk away with absolutely no damage, having fired Hesh on every round and still make a profit. It's amazing. What a game. Well done, Lomian. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. You'll miss something like this. Thanks for watching.